Hey everyone, welcome to another video. Remember, if you love film, gaming, or television content, please consider clicking that subscribe button because it is time to talk about the final film I saw at this year's Brisbane International Film Festival, and that is the new A24 film, Marcel the Shell with Shoes On. So, let's get into it. <laughs> So if you didn't see my She Said review, I did mention that while I did buy tickets to see this at the film festival, A24 decided to start selling the special edition 4K, so I ordered it, and because it was coming from America, I was thinking there was absolutely no way it would arrive before the screening. Well, as you can see here, that really did not turn out to be the case. As I had been to a ton of screenings already, and I was really tired, so I decided to watch it at home, and I think it was a solid film to watch at home. Ah, time to relax. I have been so excited for this film for a long time now, and because Australia just has the worst release dates when it comes to movies, and especially A24 movies, I had to wait so long. As I mentioned, I bought a 4K copy from the US, which means it has been out for so long over there that they are now releasing Blu-ray copies. The screening I was supposed to be going to was supposed to be the Queensland premiere. I just think that is absolutely wild to be honest, but I think that whole topic deserves its own video. I think as the first A24 kids movie in a way, they did a great job picking and supporting this film because it is a great film. I absolutely love the format of the documentary of a day in the life of Marcel. In that way, you get to capture a wider range of emotions. You see Marcel happy, sad, goofing around, and sometimes being upset at director Dean Fleischer Camp for constantly filming him. I normally don't like the whole fourth wall breaking gimmick, but because this is filmed like a documentary, Marcel kind of gets away with it and it works a lot because it almost feels like Marcel is real and is sharing his experiences with us. I also love the way at times it uses the film as a device to show how long it took Dean Fleischer Camp to get this made into a feature film. There are references to the shorts he made 12 years ago that blew up on YouTube, and that makes this all the more heartwarming that this incredibly wholesome film finally got the support it needed to be made. I think that goes a little into the main theme that Marcel wants to cover, which is the importance of community. The film uses two examples of the internet and being present with the ones you love as these really nice examples of different forms of community, as well as distinguishing which is really important versus what isn't. There is one shot in the third act in particular that I thought really highlighted this and it just tugs on the heartstrings after you have seen this journey that Marcel has been on over the course of this film. Marcel the Shell in a weird way I think commented on the human experience in a way by utilizing the isolation that Marcel feels with being with only his Nana Connie and not being able to be with his entire family. The circumstances which I will not spoil at all really boil down to the experiences we may go through as a human, both positive and negative. I just have to credit the voice performance from Jenny Slate here. That voice is not edited, that is her real voice, and she does an incredible job of voicing this character. I think voice acting still does not get enough credit, even when we are getting top tier animation and games that highlight how demanding the job is and still require a very real performance, so I just want to take the time to say that her voice acting here is really excellent. I just, I miss the feeling of knowing that you did a good job. In terms of negatives, I think that because of the whole documentary experience that does capture that human experience element I was mentioning earlier, it also feels like a hangout film at times, and when it does that, I don't think it works all that well. I think when this focuses a lot on that element, it hurts the film's pacing a little, which is a shame because when this is at its best, 
Marcel would be one of the best animated films of the decade, but to me, the pacing does bog this down quite a bit in my opinion. I also thought that some of the more emotional scenes that the film provides could have lingered on them a little longer for me to really get hit with the impacts of those scenes. I know this is a shorter film and wants to keep things succinct, but it was a little too succinct to the point where I was a little disappointed that those scenes didn't hit me as hard as I would have liked it to. Overall, Marcel the Shell with Shoes On is a great film that I definitely recommend to you. It has so many excellent moments and manages to say so much in such a short amount of time. I don't think this film is perfect, but man, if it had tightened a few things up and hit me a little harder, I would think it would be quite close. I'm going to give Marcel the Shell with Shoes On a 4 out of 5, and I am very glad I saw it. It feels like one of A24's more accessible projects, so definitely check it out even if A24 isn't your thing. Anyway, thank you so much for watching the video. Tell me in the comments below what you think about Marcel the Shell. That now concludes all my reviews for the Brisbane International Film Festival. I wanted to get this one out a little sooner, but I have been very busy. I still have a ton of content planned for you. I'll start by ranking the films I saw at BIF 2022, which will complete all of my BIF content for this year. And then I want to have reviews for House of the Dragon and maybe Black Panther Wakanda Forever. If you want to see that content, remember to hit that subscribe button with notifications on, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Thank you.